Howdy there folks, Michael Liang here from r 3 of 5 Labs and today we have got a much requested video which is a walkthrough and review of Tweetbot for Mac. Now I do apologize for the lack of content over the past few days or even weeks as I've been feeling extremely under the weather and I've just got a ton of stuff to do for school. However, that's no excuse and today we have got Tweetbot for Mac to walk through and review. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So as you guys know, Tapbot is, has been really famous, the company behind Tweetbot for uh, iOS, for your iPhone and for your iPad. And recently, they released Tweetbot for Mac under beta. However, after a few weeks or so, I think they, uh, they cut the beta access because of Twitter's token issue, which means that each developer only has a certain amount of tokens. So after testing the beta of Tweetbot for Mac extensively, they finally decided to release Tweetbot for Mac uh, officially under the App Store. However, there's a huge, huge caveat, and that is this app will cost 20 bucks. And 20 bucks is actually a lot, but we will talk about whether that is worth it, whether you should go get it, or whether if there's a better alternative or not. So here we are at, at Tapbot's website, and as we can see, we have got a little description of Tweetbot for Mac. Tweetbot is a fully featured Twitter app for Mac based on an award-winning app for the iPhone and iPad with Retina support syncing via iCloud, multiple column views, Tweetbot is the premier Twitter app for Mac. So as you guys can see, we have got some of the features listed down below, which of course I'm going to cover in the full review, which is coming right up. Here we can of course purchase Tweetbot for uh, Twitter in the App Store. Here we can get a brief highlight. We have got of course a 5 out of 5 rating that is what they're famous for which is great great customer service and great quality products now let's go ahead and head over and as you guys can see we have got the tweetbot icon in my menu dock so let's go ahead and hit that and here we are we have a tweetbot for Mac I specifically bought this for just for this walkthrough and review so if you do appreciate that please consider liking and subscribing to this channel as it'll help me out a lot on the very left hand column here we have got your basically your feed, we have got your mention, we have got your private message, we have got your favorite, we have got search, we have got trends, people and top tweets within search, we have got your profile, we have got lists, we have got retweets and we have got mute filters. Now let's go ahead and talk. As you guys can see, this this uh, utilizes Apple's vertical scrolling, which is really nice to see. And on the very top here, we have got the number of tweets before you reach the very top. If you double click, we have a few options. We ha we can reply to this tweet. We can retweet it. We can favorite it. We can uh we can send it to Pocket, which is my read it later service. We can copy a link to tweet. We can copy tweet and we can email the tweet. Here we also can see we can view the retweet, we can view it in Favestar, and we can translate it to another language, which is something you simply don't get with many of the other Twitter services out there. On the very top here, as a bonus, we also can see when it is posted and via which service, in which case this is via, via IFTTT, and if I post via this service, of course, it will appear as Tweetbot for Mac. So the scrolling is really smooth. It's really uh, a pleasure to use and here as you guys can see we can see my, our mentions right there and if we click here we can of course see how they replied the entire feed itself which is of course nice to see and the moment we are, we are done with that the yellow the blue color highlight on the uh, reply button disappears so we so we have got a nice indication to see how much replies we have or if we have any reply at all. Here we have got our private messages, which of course I've cleared out before this walkthrough. So here we have no messages found, but if we do, we get a really iOS kind of iOS messaging kind of interface, which I'll demonstrate in a similar account in just a few minutes. And here we have got the uh, tweets that we favorite ourselves. As you guys can see, it's bookmarked using a favorite, and if we unfavorite it, like such, it will the bookmark will disappear and it will disappear from your favorites list. So there you have it. 
On the bottom here, we have got search. We have got a really, really powerful search engine. So, for example, if we search a person, or we can search a topic, or we can even search the write out from the username from the get go. So, this is a really powerful search and definitely far more powerful than something like Osphora and stuff like that. We have also got trends. As you can see, worldwide, why 10 reasons why you can see all the different hashtags. And here we can choose the location where we want to see the trends. We can choose Germany, France, Ireland, Italy, Japan, Korea, Malaysia, all the different. Let me just go ahead and switch it to do not disturb. We have got people, as you guys can see. And we have got all the different topics that people are talking about right now, which is really nice to see. We have got US elections, we have got Twitter, NASCAR, music, MLB, and all the different good stuff. We've got top tweets, which are basically the most retweeted tweets out there. And as you guys can see, here's just a good, uh, here's just a good indication for us to see that how Tweetbot displays images right in the foreground of, uh, right in the foreground of Twitter. So as you guys can see, if we open this, we have got a rather explicit message there. And if, for example, we open it op everything opens in the foreground of course if you want to open a link it will open in Google Chrome or whichever is your default browser moving down as you can see we have got the our own feed itself so follow me at forwarded me and here we have got the description here we have got the link we've got the location we've got the number of followers which is basically as much information as they can fit possible in one page and we also as an added bonus we have got the number of twitter user we are and since when we are a member here we can add our list which we are not gonna do and here we have got retweet which is basically stuff that people retweet from other people that you are not following which is of course nice to see if you want to discover other people here we have got mute which of course we can add if let's say we want to mute politics or we want to mute apple news android news you can just add it to the mute filters and it will filter out from your timeline which is nice to see and when that event ends or when that little uh when that frenzy ends you can of course unmute it and so it'll appear back on your news on your time feed here let's go ahead and move down as you guys can see so but by purchasing one of the, uh, the app itself you can get support from many of your different accounts if you do have many accounts like I do and for, now let me go ahead and show you what it looks like in private message as you guys can see here we can of course repri reply we can just say yes or no or whatever and we can send it and it will and it will look as if it's a message so that is definitely really really nice to see now let's go ahead and move back and let's go ahead and talk about some of the added features that you get with Tweetbot for Mac that you just don't get with others. For example, if we go to the preference pane, let me go ahead and drag it up. We have got sound, which of course you can select to your liking. We have got font size, we have got tiny, small, medium, large, and huge. We have got display. Of course, you can decide whether you want to see their username or their full name. And I usually go with their full name. Of course, you can also have the option to select both which is always nice to see. Here we've got the date, fo the date format, which is relative or absolute, again nice to see. And we have got the new tweets bar, which is what I just displayed a few minutes ago, right here at the very top here. So we have got persistent, which means that it will always appear there, or we have got a uh, height to scroll, which means that the moment you scroll, the number of tweets that you have before you reach the top disappears. On the top here, we have got show menu bar icon, which is basically right here which I'm gonna talk about real soon and we have got quote format which is standard quote or and open links in foreground or background account as you guys can see we have got different accounts and one one thing I want to talk about is the sync feature which you which is something you don't get with many or basically all of the other uh, Twitter a client for Mac out there so it basically syncs using iCloud which surprisingly Twitter has it has its own way to do it but you can sync your DMs your follows your timeline position and all the other good stuff across all your devices so for example if I've got a Twitter for iPhone right here and I I'm let's say at the 27 minute timestamp it will sync together with my iPhone. Of course, I haven't set that up, but I'm gonna do so real soon. And this is a huge, huge added bonus if you're considering Tweetbot for a Mac, which is that you do not have to read the same tweets twice. Another thing we wanna talk about is read later. Of course, we have got all the different 
all the different services that it supports instapaper pinboard pocket and readability do you liking so if let's say someone links to a long article and you want to read it using your read it later service you can go ahead and link that here we have got video uploads depending on which service you want to use image uploads i simply use twitter because simply that is the easiest one to use and url shortening we have got your own custom we have got bit ly we have got cloud app and we have got dropler regarding notification you also got a host of different uh setting options we have got all mentions which will appear around about here i believe we have got from people you follow and we have got none. We have got direct messages, we have got retweets, favorites, and follows. And of course, you can choose this specifically for all your different apps. So you can go ahead and choose that to your liking. Now that we are done with this menu pane, let's go ahead and talk about the very top here. Here we have got tweet, the option in the menu bar. We have got new tweet, reply with all the different great shortcuts. I personally don't try to memorize them, but if you are someone who likes to do those kind of uh, quick hot switching kind of deal with the keyboard, you can of course go ahead and memorize each of this. And that is one of the nicest thing with tweet bot is that it doesn't necessarily uh, kind of imprison you in a way to a single format in the way you can execute a command you can do it in several different ways you can do edit a new typing copy find substitution grammar transformation speech and all the other good stuff here we have got text writing direction which we are not going to talk about we have got scroll to the bottom scroll to the top in case you don't want to scroll through every single one of your 300 tweets in your timestamp we have got display tweets we have got previous tab next tab we have got uh, previous account we have got next account open a new column and all the different good stuff there here to bring to view your timeline you can have again all the different commands and to open your drafts which I'm gonna talk about real soon we have got uh, command zero help of course as usual we have got help and let's say for example I want to tweet something hello folks but I don't want to tweet it right now. I can of course save it as a draft and next time I want to return to it I can go ahead and open it in a draft folder So here as you guys can see we have got the entire row of drafts and again as you guys can see if let's say I want to type something else and I don't want to tweet it right now If for example, I've got a great idea I can save it in a draft folder and I can always come back to it later. Of course I can delete it right here really simple Let's go ahead and edit that and we can delete it really simple if you don't want to if you don't intend to tweet it in the future. Lastly, we are gonna talk about the menu bar icon, which is nice to see. And if you have got a mention, this will basically turn blue. However, I do not have a mention right now. And as you guys can see, we have got a host of all the different accounts, and we can choose whether we want to see the tweets, whether we want to see the uh how many tweets do we have. Uh, waiting for us in our timeline we whether we have any mentions and whether we have any direct messages so this has just been the walkthrough and review for tweetbot personally if you use twitter half as much as i do i find it extremely worth it and i do recommend that you buy it however different people have different preferences and most people if you have been using the web interface i suggest you do not jump onto this ship right now as it might be a uh, slightly too expensive for you, it might be an overdrive, it might be overkill. However, if you use Twitter a lot for the most part of the day and you like the iCloud syncing feature, which is something you don't get with many out there, I suggest you go ahead and buy this. This is going to be a extremely worth it purchase. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Michael Young from Art305 Labs. If you do enjoy this kind of video and you want more of this kind of content, please consider liking and subscribing and it will help me a lot. And they'll do for me today, guys. And I'll catch you again in the next video. Bye-bye.